Feeling tired or even exhausted during pregnancy is considered normal, especially during the first and third trimesters. It's unsurprising when you think about it, you're growing a human, which uses up so many of the body's resources. But what happens if you already have debilitating fatigue? The condition known as myalgic encephalomyelitis or chronic fatigue syndrome affects up to 2.5% of people worldwide and is mostly seen in 20 to 40 year old women. For women wanting to fall pregnant or those who are already pregnant and who have chronic fatigue, it can be a scary to think about the journey ahead. Today, I'll be talking about how fatigue differs from CFS and how pregnancy impacts this condition. As we know, eating a healthy diet during pregnancy is important for optimizing your health and that of your growing baby. If you're pregnant and suffering from CFS, proper nutrition is doubly important. Stay tuned to find out why and for my top nutrition tips. Welcome to Nourish. My name is Melanie McGrice and I'm a prenatal dietitian. I work with parents-to-be and guide them on their journey throughout pregnancy and beyond. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with my latest evidence-based nutrition videos. Chronic fatigue syndrome is characterized by extreme fatigue and is thought to be caused by viral infections, psychological stress, or a combination of both. The most distinctive difference between fatigue and chronic fatigue is that the fatigue a person experiences is not alleviated by rest. People with CFS also experience what's called post-exertional malaise, which means that physical or mental activities can worsen the fatigue and can last up to 24 hours after the activity. Memory loss, reduced concentration, dizziness, muscle pain and other physical symptoms are also associated with CFS, which makes it very different from regular fatigue. People may go through periods of remission and relapse, making it really difficult to manage symptoms because you just never know if an activity is going to take you over the edge. There's not much research into how CFS impacts pregnancy, but the good news is, is that most mamas go on to have a healthy pregnancy and baby. Some expecting mamas have seen improvements in their chronic fatigue symptoms, whilst others say that they get worse. It can be extremely hard to tell because pregnancy is generally exhausting for all women. For those mamas with CFS, it can be comforting to know that you don't have any higher chances of developing pregnancy complications, such as gestational diabetes or premature labor, or even other side effects such as nausea and vomiting. Your chances of developing these are comparable to women who don't have this condition. However, delivering a baby could be a bit more tiring for you and recovery may take you a bit longer. This is understandable too, as we know that any physically or mentally demanding activities can worsen fatigue and cause the post-exertional malaise that I spoke about earlier. So now that we've covered what chronic fatigue is and how it differs from regular fatigue, how does nutrition play a role? Well, the nutrition recommendations for mamas suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome don't differ that much to what I recommend for pregnant women in general, but I do have some nutrition tips to help support your body during this incredibly life-changing experience with CFS in mind. First of all, make sure that your diet is balanced and that you're e and that eating enough is a priority. Your body is using a lot of energy to make a baby, so make sure that you're nourishing it as best as you can. This can be particularly challenging when all you wanna do is sleep. Researching what to eat, putting together a meal plan, going to the supermarket and coming home to prepare all of the food can be quite a daunting task because all of these activities could contribute to post-exertional malaise and leave you feeling exhausted. In this case, it may be worth seeing a pregnancy dietitian as they can help plan all your meals and ensure that you're getting all of the nutrition that you need, which takes out the mentally demanding side of the equation. If you want to do that, I'll pop the details of how you can book a consultation in the description box below the video. 
I also have a free pregnancy meal plan, which could help take the stress out of figuring out what to eat. I'll link to it as well. It can also be helpful to reach out to your social network. Maybe a family member or a friend could go to the supermarket for you and get some items or maybe even prepare a few meals for you so that you can save your energy for other tasks. Tip number two is to eat smaller, more frequent meals during the day. As I said, people with CFS often feel too tired to eat or don't feel hungry. And if you're suffering from morning sickness, skipping meals can actually make this worse. So I recommend eating five to six meals a day, um, which can help to keep your energy levels up as well as managing nausea. My third tip is to make sure that you're drinking enough fluids. Dehydration can exacerbate symptoms of CFS and it's easy to forget to drink when you're tired. Fluid requirements also increase during pregnancy to meet the demands of your body and your baby. Dehydration can be quite common in expectant mamas, especially if you're experiencing morning sickness and can't keep fluids down. It's helpful to keep a water bottle with you during the day and take small sips from it frequently. Or you could try downloading an app to keep track of how much you're drinking, or even set an alarm at intervals throughout the day to remind you to drink. If you're unsure how much water you should be drinking, you might like to watch my YouTube video on how much water you should drink during pregnancy. I'll link it for you below. Now, I hope you found this video informative. If you suffer from CFS, hopefully now you feel a bit more confident knowing the ways that you can look after yourself during pregnancy. And if you haven't done so already, check out some of my other videos on nutrition tips during pregnancy. I look forward to seeing you next time. Suffering from chronic fatigue. For women who are pregnant, all those, and the core. Um, and cause, that's what I was looking for, sorry.